To begin, log into the ADP Workforce Now employee portal. Reviewing employee personal goals. To review employee personal goals, navigate to My Team, Talent, Performance Goals. From here, you will notice two tabs. Current Goals and Historical Goals. Current Goals are goals the employee has not completed. In other words, the progress is less than 100%. Historical goals are goals the employee has completed. In other words, the progress is 100%. You can review the goals from this list. You can also drill down and view the details of each goal. To view the detail, click on the action button, then select view slash update progress. You will now be able to view or update the details of the goal. If you make updates or changes to the goal, be sure to save it. Adding Team Goals For any manager who has previously communicated team goals for the 2016 stub year, you can add those goals and assign them to your employees. For those of you who have not communicated team goals for 2016, this may come in handy for your 2017 goal setting. Team goals are added from the performance goals page. Navigate to My Team, Talent, Performance Goals. Click Add. Enter the goal name. Category, which must be performance. Goal level, which must be team. Indicate if the goal should be included in the performance review. Enter the goal details. Enter the assigned date and target completion date. Finally, check all employees who the team goal is assigned to and click done. The employee will receive an email stating a performance goal has been assigned to them and is available for review and update. Releasing the employee self-evaluation form. Navigate to My Team, Talent, Performance Reviews. From the Action button, click on Start Review. There are three areas of the review form you must complete in order to release the self-evaluation form to the employee. First, you'll want to ensure the review dates are correct. Review due date is January 6, 2017. Review date is December 19, 2016. Review period start date should be May 1, 2016 or, date of hire, if later. Review period end date should be December 31st, 2016. Next, you need to add the employee as a contributor. This is how you are assigning the employee the self-evaluation form. Click the down arrow next to add contributors then click employee self-assessment. You will notice the employee's name is added under the contributor name column. Enter January 6, 2017 as the assigned due date and if you want a reminder sent to the employee, enter a date in the Send Reminder field. Next you see the review questions. These do not need to be completed to release the self-evaluation form to the employee. We will discuss the question rating process in just a few minutes. The final section you must complete in order to release the self-evaluation is the goals. You will want to ensure all goals for this review are showing and you will also need to assign goal weighting to each goal. The system will show all current personal goals for the employee, however, you may need to add completed goals and or team goals. To do so, 
click add goals to review. Select the goals then click done. To add historical goals, click add goals to review. Click historical goals. Select the goal then click done. Next, update the weight for each goal ensuring the total goal weight is equal to 100%. If you don't enter a goal weight, the system will automatically rate each goal equally. Click save, this will send the self-evaluation form to the employee. You will still have the ability to return to the form and make updates and or changes as needed. Note, the performance review forms will be available to you no later than close of business on Friday, December 16th. You will want to release the self-evaluation forms to your employees as soon as possible so they can begin their self-evaluation on Monday, December 19th. Completing review and rating of employee. Navigate to My Team, Talent, Performance Reviews. From the Action button, click on View Review. To view the employee's self-ratings, click on the employee name under Contributor Feedback. You have the ability to view or print the form. You can begin entering your ratings for each of the questions and goals. The system will automatically calculate a score based on the weighting and rating score you provide the employee. You also have the ability to add comments by clicking on the add comments link under each question and or goal. Click save if you have not completed the ratings or if you think you may need to return to make changes to the ratings you've provided. Or click submit review only after you have finalized your ratings. Note, this will lock the performance review form and you will not be able to make any changes to it. The employee will still be able to complete the self-evaluation, if not complete yet. Releasing completed employee performance review for acknowledgement. Once you have met with your employee to review their performance, you will need to release the completed employee performance review to the employee for acknowledgement. Navigate to My Team, Talent, Performance Reviews. Ensure all employees have completed their review by viewing the Feedback Received column. One out of one means the employee has completed his or her review. From the Action button, click on Release to Employee. The employee will now be able to view and acknowledge their completed performance review and ratings. If you have questions, please contact Human Resources. Thank you.